Bah damn, in this video we're gonna talk about proper squatting form. What's going on guys and gals? Chris with the Bah Damn channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. You can follow me on Instagram, at Bah Damn. You can also get the free muscle building guide, which is the first link down below. A great guide that'll give you a lot of good tips on how to build some high quality muscle. In this video, we're gonna be going over proper squatting form. I wanna give you guys a lot of good tips and uh, that way when you go to the gym or maybe you have a home gym like this, you can actually dial in your form and start to really enjoy the squat. Squatting is an actual exercise that is a very compound exercise, meaning it requires a lot of muscles to be activated to pull off the actual exercise itself. So it's also an exercise that you know burns a fair amount of calories. It's just an amazing exercise that also builds your core as well, right? So if you think about it, you know, the weights at the top of your body, the middle of your body is kind of like the hinge and your legs are the drivers of everything to bring the weight back up. I mean, there's a lot going on. Your core can't be weak to do squats. So we're going to be going over some form things right here. And the most important thing to uh, start considering is where do you place the bar? All right, so here's a power rack and I have the bar right about shoulder level. And the reason why is um, at the gym, you're going to have, you know, a squat rack probably in front of you. It might look totally different. It might look angular with like little peg holes and stuff like that, uh, that have little posts that come out of the peg holes and you kind of rack it wherever you want to. Now this is called a power rack and you can adjust this thing up and down. Um, and they're both good places to start doing the squat. When you're going up to the bar, I like to already put my two fingers on the rings usually, okay? Like right around there. Um, that's a good place to start, um, you know, getting your hands and everything kind of braced, right? You wouldn't want everything to be all tight and braced. I like to be a little wider and brace it completely with my body because that's the whole thing going down with squats is that you want to make sure that, um, that you are completely braced even before the movement starts, okay? So let's go into this right here. Where does the actual bar hit the back of my neck? Well, since I have long hair, it's gonna be kind of tough to see that, but essentially I want to kind of sandwich it at the top part of my neck, like the very top part of my trapezius muscle, okay? So like that's the traps. I want to put that weight like right around there and I want to make sure that it's resting really nice. Now I don't want to also go like this and pinch it in there. I just want to make sure it's resting in that position when I am slightly bent forward. All right, so essentially it's gonna look something like this and I'll kind of face you guys so you can kind of see. Um, I'll have my hands on the rings or maybe my middle finger on the rings, but either way, it's not, you know, tight like that. So we'll have it on the rings. I'm going to get under it like that. Now, because the mirror is this way, I have to kind of gauge where my head's going under because I want to be directly in the middle of this thing. And this, my traps should be right around this smooth section. So I'm going to go under it and then I'll put it right there on top of my traps. And then I'm going to go up. Okay. One or two steps forward. My feet are about shoulder width, okay? Um, and the most important thing when you're dealing with squats, I'll try to back up a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on here. The most important thing is when you're going down is to kind of make sure that your knees go outwards, okay? That you get to about parallel, right? And then you come up using your legs as a driving force and the last portion is where you kind of elongate and you basically get back up to normal. But when you're going down, you know, pitch forward and then keep that pitch, a slight pitch forward and have your legs bring you down and then go up and then straighten out like that. All right. So if you're wondering what the form of squat kind of is without any weight, the best way to do it is to stand normally, hands in front of you, and then go down. All right. And as you're going down, make sure that your knees are a little bit wider. When you're going down like this and you come up, press with the outer part of your thigh. Okay. The outer part, which is right here. Got it. That's what you're going to be activating when you get deep into a squat. So, you know, you can go to parallel, which I think is a bare minimum, or you can break parallel and go what they call ass to grass, you know, like this and go all the way down and all the way up. Okay. All the way down and all the way up. Now, if you have trouble getting that low, if you have hip kind of flexor pains or something like that, 
you do need to do dynamic stretching, okay? So essentially what that is, is you take something like what I have right here. I have a kind of a bench. I'll bring it out here for a second. I have a bench right here that has a piece that's like protruding out. It's upright right now, it's in an upright position. I would put my hand on the bench like this, and I want to get 10 to 20 swings this way. Nice, good leg swings. And this is how you open up your hip flexors and really get that nice uh, dynamic stretching going down to where you can actually get into a parallel or a break past parallel position when you're squatting, which is optimal. That's where you want to be. You don't want to you know, go like this and just squat to here and up, right? You want to get the parallel, meaning your thighs are parallel to the ground, okay? So at a bare minimum, this. And notice how my knees are nice and wide, and I'm going to press up using the outer part of my legs, all right? And my knees are still wide. So you're going to want to do dynamic stretching like this, all right? Both legs all the way up, drive it out. This way, drive it out. Um, and then face this way, arm on here, forward, drive it back, forward, drive it back, like that, all right? So up, drive it back, drive it back, drive it back. 10 to 20 reps each side for those as well. Um, that alone will really open up your hip flexor muscles just by doing that. Proper warm up of, of squatting. Of course, when I start to squat, I'll do just the bar for you know, 10 to 20 reps. Then I'll do you know, 25s on each side for maybe 10 reps. And I'll put a 45 on each side for maybe five reps. And then I'll start going five, five, five until I get to my working set, whatever it is. But um, yeah, you wanna build into uh, also making sure that your hip flexors uh, are nice and warmed up, right? So you can do the dynamic stretching and you can also warm up doing the squats as well, which I highly suggest. But let's go over that form one last time so you guys have it, okay? Um, I will actually face this way this time. And so, remember, the ring, I'll put my ring, I'll put my middle finger on the rings. It's probably where I want it. I'm gonna go under, make sure that's in this, at the top part of my trapezius. I'm gonna brace my body. When I look down at my feet, they won't be like this, but they'll be a little duck-footed, all right? But they're not gonna be completely out like that. They're gonna be like this, shoulder width, and then because I've done warm-ups and stuff like that, I'll be able to go uh, down, you know, into uh, parallel, or I can break it if I want to. And then all while doing that, I am slightly leaned forward. My back is nice and straight. I make sure to tighten my abs, clench my glutes. Everything has to be tight, like real tight, all right? Because this, is, this can be a very compromising type movement once you start adding more weight to it later. All right, so let's kind of go over that form. All right. So ring finger, boom, or it's in my middle finger. I'm gonna go under, it's gonna be in the middle of me now. All right, I got it out of the catcher, one or two steps back, shoulder width feet, slightly duck footed. And everything's nicely braced, my abs are braced, my glutes are tight, and I'm gonna go down with a slightly pitched over uh, torso. I'm gonna keep that thing pitched over till you know the thing is finished, basically the movement is finished, then I'll come back up to standing position but I'll let my legs lower me once I'm pitched forward. So it'll look like this. Boom, there's parallel, a little bit lower, and up, all right? So like this, and driving with the outer part of my legs, and up. Wrap it down, and that's proper squat form in my book. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some good tips out of it. And if you did, hit the like button, put a comment down below. I'll see you on the next Bot Damn video. Take it easy. Goodbye.